the mop, when she wakes up and she looks in the mirror, she loves what she sees. Me, not so much. Because you see, sometimes when I pick up the mirror, here's what I see. All these people staring at you, waiting for you to say something that's going to change their lives. You probably shouldn't have had that third margarita. <laughs> oh, what? You're scared? Now you're afraid of getting up in front of strangers? Do you not remember the year you got up on that bar and danced because you lost five pounds and thought that you looked cute in a tank top? <laughs> You're afraid you'll look silly. Sweetie, do you not remember the 80s? <laughs> Blue eyeshadow, leg warmers, your bedazzled jumpsuit. Do you not remember that that jumpsuit you made in home economics? <laughs> that you had to wear to school for a grade? And it fell apart by lunch? <laughs> and everybody had to see that you were wearing Tuesday's underwear on Wednesday. <laughs> Come on. Are you afraid you can't handle this? Lord, you went through labor for 27 hours. This is nothing. You're a mom. You've been through a lot worse than this. Have you not learned anything? Have you not learned that your true joy comes in those moments when you step out of that comfort zone and stop being afraid of what everybody else is going to think? Oh, Lord, is that a hair on my chin? <laughs> Girlfriend, if your hair gets any bigger, an entire family of squirrels can take residence in there and nobody's going to know it. Mm-hmm, it looks good. Now, come on, suck it up. You know. You know that this is not about you. It's about them. That's all that matters. You're not here for you, you're here for them. And the hopes that maybe even just one person will walk out of here a little taller than when they came in. And that'll be all right. So put on a smile. Because this is going to be great to be here with you this morning. And I want to ask you, when you look in the mirror, what's that voice telling you? <laughs>